Hey everyone, how you doing? I posed a question on Twitter about who would love to know how to create a 3D book cover. So you know, lots of authors or people have that have written an ebook, you've got a book cover. Now when you stick it onto your WordPress site, if you just put a flat image, it looks okay but not brilliant. So how can we create a 3D book cover for free that you can then put onto your WordPress or any other website and it looks really, really professional. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's just pretend we've got a book cover and I'm just gonna show you the book cover for one of my books that I wrote in 2013. Uh, and it's, it's out right now on Amazon. So it's Tyler Knitbone, uh, by Imran Sadiq, that's me. And uh, professional cover, everything. It's a wonderful book, go, go and have a look at it. Anyway, that's the book cover. It is a flat image, okay, just flat. It's not 3D, you can't see any pages or anything like that. And I could use that on a website, but I wanna go the extra mile, and that's what I wanna show you here. Now, one of the best ways to do it is to go to DIYbookcovers.com. That's DIY bookcovers.com, okay? The link will be in the description for this video. What you do is you go to this website and it will then say to you, right, okay, what style do you wanna go for? And look at the fantastic range you've got here. I mean, you could go for like an iPhone or a, a, an iPad or a tablet view, or you could go for your traditional book. I tend to go for this one. So this cover here, this is the one I normally go for, but I just wanna show you there's lots of options here. Okay, so let's just pick this book cover here. That's the one I've picked. I'm then gonna click next. This is all free by the way, you don't have to sign up or do anything. I then have to upload my image, the book cover. So we'll go to browse and we'll go to desktop and we'll just pick my cover. Let me just move this, let me click open. Sometimes it doesn't always show you the book cover here. So remember to click upload and it will then upload the cover. And you will see it below. And there we go again. Tyler Knitbone, uh, that's Michelle, his friend, and that is Shape, a uh, very, you know, funny kind of robot, cool guy, love him. Anyway, so once we've now uploaded it, we then click Next, and it it's done it. But when you look at the image, it doesn't look like it has. It is still a flat image, but don't fret. Don't worry, it has actually done it because I'm then gonna click save it as a PNG. Most people jump straight to JPEG. JPEG is really where you wanna be before you get your images onto your website or the page, because it's a lower size. But within WordPress, it will do that for you. It, autom it uh, optimizes anyway, but you wanna get the PNG file at this moment in time. So click PNG. What it will now do is it will have put it to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads normally go. So on a Mac, it goes to a downloads folder. Same with a PC, to be honest. And if I click open on this file now, look at it, that's what we got. We now have a 3D book cover. It, yeah, it looks okay. But can you see the problem? There's a shadow there, right? And that was part of the design. It clearly told us there was gonna be a shadow. You know, it's, they didn't lie. And I now have a shadow. If I have this image floating on my page somewhere, so it might be like uh, I've got some headlines and I've got the image over here and it's floating over a colored background or something, maybe there's mountains in the background, whatever. That shadow kind of, it, it kind of ruins it a little bit. It does for me anyway. If you were gonna have that book cover sat on a flat line or a shelf image, fine, but that, that background needs to go. So. What you can do are two ways to do it. The first way would require you to have a Canva Premium account. So let's just close that down. If we go to Canva and you've logged in with a premium account, which is about 11 pounds a month, it's well worth it. I wanna make that really clear. If you wanna design logos, get hold of stock images, create social media posts, out of this world, brilliant. But if you're not using it that much, maybe the 11 pounds is a bit too much. But anyway, look, let's create a design. We're gonna create a logo design, 500 by 500 pixels. That's fine enough. I'm then going to upload, sorry, loads of pictures of me, you know, happens. 
I'm then going to upload our image that we just created. And it's now going to upload, okay? Once it's uploaded, I will drag that image onto the canvas. There we go. There's the image. And can you see the background or the shadow is still there? Okay. If I then go to effects and I click background remover, it will magically, before your very eyes, remove that background. And I just want to show you the magic of this. If I now change the background color of this to be, let's just go for red. It has taken away a bit more than it needs to, okay? But most of the time, that's because I've got a white cover, which doesn't always help a bit. But what it has done is remove the shadow. And I can now use that image on a website elsewhere. But that's going to cost you £11 a month. If, however, let's just close that and that, we went to a website called remove.bg. Remove. Dot bg Again, the link will be below, okay? You go over here, it's free, you upload your image. So let's now upload that image that we just created. There we go. And instantaneously, before I've even done anything, I just upload it, it's straight away removed the background. And can you see there, we have now, it's now taken it away. Again, remember, I picked probably the worst image, which was one with a, uh, a, white back, uh, a white image that's kind of eaten into my cover. There are ways to repair that when you stick it onto WordPress and things like that. But what I can now do is click download. That's now downloaded. I can now use that on my website or anywhere else in my social, um, my social media or promotions or anything like that. So. DIYbookcovers.com to create your book cover. And again, I just want to show you how that looks. Okay, so let's go to 3D mockups. Look at the range you've got here, right? That is a brilliant array of mockups for you to use. And then you want to go to remove.bg if you want to remove the shadow or anything like that. If not, fine. Go, go ahead with what you've got. You know, it's transparent background anyway, but if you do want to remove the shadow, this is how you do it. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you learned something from it. Give us a like, subscribe, and see you soon.